I, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, do solemnly swear. This is the moment Ruth Bader Ginsburg was first introduced to the country. But for Des Moines attorney Roxanne Conlin, their relationship spans from two decades before. I decided to write an article on the Equal Rights Amendment, and she was my reader. For two years in the 1970s, Conlin's work was checked continuously by Ginsburg, a Columbia University professor at the time. I would talk to her on the phone. I would mail her stuff. And Ginsburg would become one of Conlin's biggest inspirations. I got to know how funny she was, how brilliant she was. And how far her interests spread outside of law. Like her love for the opera, a fact Des Moines Metro Opera's Michael Eagle learned in 2015. In particular, she mentioned that one of her favorite operas was Billy Budd. So when the Des Moines Metro Opera Company prepared to put on this performance of Billy Budd... I wrote her a letter and uh, let her know that it was happening, uh, not expecting a response at all. But Eagle did get a response. This letter signed by Ruth Bader Ginsburg a week or so later. She couldn't make it for the opening, but promised to let him know if other days worked. It was the first of nine letters, some even handwritten, between the two over four years. If I sent her a program or if uh, I sent her a DVD, I could always count on the fact that she would write something back. And write back she always did until the very end. Ruth Bader Ginsburg's final letter to Eagle, signed August 27, 2020, closed with well wishes for the opera and all of its supporters. It always felt special. It feels, you know, even more special and, and, and um, touching now. Reporting in Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.